Hello, everybody, it is I, Friendly Neighbor 9FP, and welcome to the last general overview video. ESTJ. It has been since December. I should have cracked these open out at a much quicker pace than if I was in ESTJ, ISTJ, ENTJ, any of the J's, really. I, I, I probably would have, but I'm a 9FP, so it never happened. Anyways... Welcome everybody, I'm your friendly neighborhood INFP, and we are talking about the ESTJ, the people who, well, let's be honest, everybody likes to joke about in their love of money. It's not that ESTJs love money necessarily, it's what that money provides them. So that's what we're going to be looking at. ESTJs, much like other J types, are organized but they are very goal setting people. They are often seen as people who will go towards one of the high places of business in their life. They know what they want, they know how to get it, they know where to go to get it, and they will do usually everything in their power to get it. A little bit different from an ENTJ that will have much further goals, and which I've already talked about ESTJs, are people who have a understanding of what they want for their life and how um, the goals that they're going to need to get in order to get to where they want to be in life. Now, I'm not saying that this is true for every ESTJ. It's just they typically tend to end up in these scenarios. Uh, ESTJs are people who are often considered the play hard, no, work hard and play hard type of people or work hard, play harder type of people. They want to be able to support their family. They want to be able to support their kids. They want to be able to support the people who they're loyal to. They want to be able to help those people out in their own way. And this often comes by them finding a job in a well-respected area in life so that allows them to reach that area. Now, this isn't to say that ESTJs aren't in, you know, more artistic pursuits because, like I said before, and we'll continue preaching, it's how they go about it, not that they can't do it. So, with that put aside... Um, they are very, how do I put this? Very sociable people. They are people who understand the importance of networking. They are people who understand the importance of, um, talking to many people. They, which is essentially networking. I just repeated the same thing twice. They are people who understand the importance of money, how to use money, how to, um, spend money. They have a budget much like other J types will, but their budget will usually allow them to go a little bit higher than maybe say somebody else. Now I'm not saying that every ESTJ is rich because not every ESTJ is rich, but they do definitely know that there is a hierarchy and that they want to be somewhere at the top of that hierarchy, at least in some way, shape or form. Um, whether that is within the home or whether that is within the workplace, they will typically want to be somewhere higher up in the hierarchy. They want to know that what they're doing matters and that it will have an effect, especially if that effect is for themselves and for their family and for their loved ones. They want to make sure that things follow a certain path. They want to make sure that things follow a certain routine that usually benefits them in some way, shape or form. Um, this is where they have this, because of these reasons, uh, they are able to study people and know what people want, know what people like, know how to please those people. They know how to, um, use psychology, usually subconsciously, in getting people, the right people, to like them. Now, this doesn't mean that every ESTJ is liked, and some ESTJs are, in fact, quite rigid and brutal, especially when you look into, like, military-type lifestyles, where the ESTJ isn't exactly the nicest guy, but they're not there to be nice, they're there to make sure the job gets done. 
Um, which is why they will end up in manager type positions, which is why they'll end up in CEO type positions, which is why they will end up in doctor, lawyer, whatever, whatever, whatever type positions. They have their T demands of them to set things in order, to set things right, to make sure that they go after success, that they have that success, that they, and usually that success doesn't usually have to mean money. It's just they have to feel accomplished with themselves. T demands them to do, to set things in order, to understand things in a certain way, to put things in a certain way. It requires them to have things seen um, in a way that other people don't. So as such, a lot of ESTJs are seen as workaholics. And I don't know if this is a combination of the TSI or, or what, but they can often be seen as workaholics who oftentimes have a hard time slowing down. But these are also the same types of people who, especially if we're looking on the business side of things and not necessarily the military side of things, if we're looking on the business side of things, these are the same people who have a very good um, understanding of sales. They know how to get people to buy their product. They know how to speak to those people. They know how to be very charismatic uh, because if they're not, because a lot of them will be working on a salary slash commission or just commission based thing. If they're not good at it, it means that they not, they're not making the money that they need. So they need to be good at it and they learn to be good at it. And oftentimes when they are kids and growing up, they are very good at making sure kids follow a certain routine and they'll usually take over if there's no ENTJ there or some other type there who takes the lead. The ESTJ is the one who usually takes the lead much to their annoyance when P types come around and challenge their position. But I digress. ESTJs are also much like the ESFJs, the ones who will end up as valedictorians. They are the one who, who will end up as honor students. Actually, I believe many of the SJs usually end up in this spectrum. The ESFJs, ESTJs, ISTJs, ISFJs, all of them will typically tend to end up someone somewhere around people who typically do well in school that is present provided this is not always the case but provided that they are given the opportunity to do so that's where they'll end up uh, now this isn't to say that because you'll have ESTJs across the spectrum there will be poor people just as well as there'll be rich people there'll be middle class people there'll be people across the wide variety like this isn't just one set area um, because personality types do encompass more than one area. Now, ESTJs will often understand, like not understand because they know their one goal. They know that you should go towards that goal. You, they know how to achieve that goal. And they'll get usually very confused with people such as INFPs, ENFPs, INTPs, uh, mostly because we don't typically care about that stuff and we're usually rather random and we have multiple interests and probably one of the irritations for an ESTJ is to see that we have so many um, interests and are kind of like jacks of all trades but we're not actually actively using it in a way that will help us. They usually get annoyed with it and you know, conflict can arise, but if the ESTJ is smart enough, they can then utilize or like direct at least um, various P types into a situation that allows them to achieve a level of success that they wouldn't have achieved before the ESTJ said, well, maybe you should use this to get this and this is how. Um, ESTJs are also because they are psi, auxiliary psi type users. They are also people who enjoy the details. They enjoy knowing how to put certain things in order, although in a very different, whereas an ISTJ would prefer to be in the background and ESTJ much would rather be in the foreground. They will be in front of, if they see usefulness in you, if they know that you are a person in which they need to go to in order to achieve a certain whatever, they will network with you pretty shamelessly. They, they won't care. They'll be 
um, proper about it. They'll be um, cordial and everything they need to be in order to get onto your good graces. And they'll even be uh, authentic about it. Um, unlike, you know, maybe other types who will be two-faced. Now, I'm not saying that they can't be two-faced because they can. Oftentimes, it is the uh, not the process, but the end goal that they're usually looking for. So they'll look amongst the crowd and people and see which ones they want specifically. And then they will go and network for with them, but not in the same way an ESFJ will or um, some of the other types. ESTJs are often seen, as I've said before, managers for this reason, because they are able to talk to various other managers. They are able to put things in order. They are able to see what works, what doesn't work. Now, does this mean that they can't be rigid? No, they can be very rigid, like I said. They can be people who don't want to bring in anything new. They can be the people who don't want to accept new practices. They can be the people who don't want to accept um, more innovative ideas. If things have always been working the one way, things will always work that way and it doesn't need to change. Things should always work in that way. Now, I'm not saying that every ESTJ is like this. Once again, there's caveats to all these types. There are exceptions to all these types. It's just, I'm just stating what is often seen in the ESTJ uh, type. Now, from that being said, they can also be extraordinarily generous. Now, a lot of people tend to see ESFJ, not ESFJs, ESTJs as uh, shrewd and sticklers for money and lovers of money and people who don't want to spend money. And oftentimes, from my personal experience, now, while that may be true for certain ESTJs, that's not true for other ESTJs, especially if you are... Uh, close acquaintances or friends with those ESG, the ESTJs, and if they have the money, they will spare no expense to help you out. For example, I happen to know an ESTJ where, um, because every ESTJ follows a hierarchy and a lot of SJs follow a certain hierarchy and even J types know that there is a type of hierarchy out there. Uh, P types typically tend to fight against the hierarchy, but they know that the hierarchy exists. But I'm sending this to paint the picture that I knew in ESTJ where after I believe it was a uh, Christmas kind of celebration, Christmas party between the group, um, it was a female who went and paid for the group. This, of course, annoyed the ESTJ because they saw it as their responsibility to go and do that and like they would have taken care of everything. So what they went and did because they didn't think it was right for uh, that person to pay for everything. Um, what they went and did is there was an other party like months after and uh, before... <laughs> Before anyone was able to even utter the word of money or paying the bill or it being their turn, because that's kind of what the group did is everybody took turns paying for everybody else's meal. Um, what the ESTJ did, and it was actually quite hilarious, is that they paid for everything before the food came out. They had everything planned, they had everything organized, they had everything, and they did it so naturally that you would have been like, wait, what? Because like when it was time for the bill to come, you'd be like, okay, well, now we need to get the bill and everything. And the ESG is like, no, nah, it's already taken care of. And we'd be like, what? It's like, yeah, I've already taken care of. Like, well, what did you take care of? It's like, oh, don't worry about it. What? So they can be very generous with their friends to a point. They don't. They're not people who are taken advantage of, but they are also generous. They know their limitations, how much to spend, and if they have the right amount of money. And they are also very family-orientated. They want to take care of the family. They want to usually make sure that the family is taken care of, the family's needs are taken care of, That, and they understand that a lot of this requires money. So they will work in those places that gets them the money that allows them to take care of their family. Now, this, of course, then goes into the aspect of them actually partying with friends. 
which if they are truly close friends, the ESTJ typically will be the one hosting the party if there isn't anybody else to host the party. Uh, sometimes it's even seen as a competition. ESTJs can be extraordinarily competitive. And in fact, they inspire a kind of competitive nature because competition breeds profit and it just and skills and everything. And so because they understand the importance of competition and because they themselves are a competitive bunch, they go and they do their own thing in that way. Now, of course, this isn't just a uh, one-way facet for ESTJs. They are multiple different ways for an ESTJ, but they are typically people who want to make sure that things are running smoothly and they enjoy, of course, um, taking care of their friends, especially if they think that it is their responsibility to take care of things. Uh, and in that way, they are very diligent and uh, kind of good people uh, to go about it. So that is it for this general overview. And at some point in the future, I will be going into far more detail, which will require me to actually do some more uh, detailed information. Uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye-bye.